SwiftUI has two ways of letting users enter numbers. And the one we'll be using here is Stepper, a simple minus and plus button that can be tapped to select a precise number. The other option is Slider, which we'll be using later on. It also lets us select from a range of numbers, but less precisely. Steppers are smart enough to work with any kind of number type you like. You can bind them to int, double, and more, and it will automatically adapt. For example, we might create a property like this. At state, private var sleep amount equals 8.0. We could then bind that to a stepper to show the current value, like this. Stepper, value dollar sleep amount. Text, screen interpolation sleep amount, hours. When that code runs, you'll see 8.000000 hours. And you can tap the minus and plus buttons to step downwards to 765 and into negative numbers, or step upwards to 9, 10, 11, and so on. By default, steppers are limited only by the range of their storage. We're using a double in this example, which means the maximum value of the slider will be 1.797693134862315E plus 308. That's scientific notation, but it means 1.79769 times 10 to the power of 308. Or, in simpler terms, a really very large number indeed. Now, as a father of two kids, I can't tell you how much I love to sleep, but even I can't sleep that much. Fortunately, Stepper lets us limit the values we want to accept by providing an in range like this. In, 4 through 12. With that change, the step will start at 8, then allow the user to move between 4 and 12 inclusive, but not beyond. This allows us to control the sleep range, so users can't try to sleep for 24 hours, but also lets us reject impossible values. You can't sleep for minus 1 hours, for example. There's a third useful parameter for stepper, which is a step value, how far to move the value each time minus or plus is tapped. Again, this can be any sort of number, but it does need to match the type used for the binding. So, if you're binding to an integer, you can't then use a double for the step value. In this instance, we might say that users can select any sleep value between 4 and 12, moving in 15 minute increments. We'll add step 0.25. That's starting to look useful. We have a precise range of reasonable values, a sensible step increment, and users can see exactly what they've chosen each time. Before we move on though, let's fix that text. It says 8.000000 right now, which is accurate, but a little too accurate. Previously, we used a string interpolation specifier such as this one, %.2f. We could use that here, but it looks odd. 8.00 hours seems overly clinical. This is a good example of where the percent %g specifier is useful, because it automatically removes insignificant zeros from the end of the number. So, it'll show 8, 8.25, 8.5, 8.75, 9, and so on, which is much more natural for users to read.